guys, how you doing? My name is Pamela from the Fat Girl Guide, where I inspire women to be fabulous, audacious, and trailblazers. You better, better tell them who's the boss, me. You better, better tell them who's the boss, see. You better, better show them who's the boss, they all stop and all when they see. How you guys doing? Like, how are you spending this forced vacation? Like, I'm, 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 I'm a very optimistic person. And I don't, re I don't really panic when things are going wrong, but I'm about to start pulling my head. Um, I live alone. I don't have any adults to converse with in person. It's like, what's going on? Like, what is going on? But I like to see the good in things that are wrong. Um, I do believe that um, this happened for a reason and it's time to get back to our inner selves or our spirituality so what i'm trying to do this season is to work on myself work on you know things i'm going through try to heal some past trauma try to you know get to the best shape of my life you know try to do things that i've been putting off because i'm like oh i don't have time we have nothing but time okay so it's time to start doing things that we've been putting off um so how, how are you guys spending this like let's talk down below how what are you doing are you just sleeping are you eating all the time like me are you drinking more like me have you are you becoming um an alcoholic almost like me like what are you guys doing to spend this forced vacation I, i'm trying not to be sad because I, I was supposed to be in dubai next week and i was looking forward to this trip like my best friend and i we've been planning this trip since december and i've been looking forward to this trip and then uncle rona uncle uncle rona had to strike but it's okay we moved it to august i'm hopeful that you know this will pass in about a month or two um if you know anyone that has the virus i'm i'm very sorry and they are in my prayers um i wanted to make this video like just you know to come up on here and talk and uh, because i haven't put out a video for a long time you know what i feel like i had the corona in february i i, I just i just feel that way because I was very sick and it was, it wasn't, it wasn't the flu, the doctor said it was the flu, but I have never been that sick before. Like, I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to die, but by the grace of God, you know, I got better. That's why I took the month of February and March off because I was just trying to get back myself. And I don't know if it was the corona, I don't know what it was, but it was just something more than flu. I, I, like I've never experienced that before. It was something more than the flu. But um, thanks to God, I got better. You know, you know, you know, you know. So I wanted to come here and tell you guys what I'm doing. Well, I'm not doing it every day, but I'm trying to implement this um, to my daily routine. Um, first things first. When I wake up, I try to work out, even if it's if. It, even if it's for 20 minutes, I try to like work out. There are free resources on YouTube. Like you can do like body combat on YouTube. You can do kickboxing, um, Zumba, Afrofusion. Like they are resources online. Like my best friend was like, ah, oh, they close all the gym in Dubai. I can't go work out. I'm like, excuses. Go online. They have videos, free videos that you can do it online. You can do it at home. You don't need like machines and all that. You just need to move your body. And I felt like I was becoming stiff. So I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, try out my favorite exercises. Um, one of my favorite things to classes to take, fitness classes to take is body combat. And, you know, I'm taking it every morning and it feels so good. And then I try to take free classes online like you can take free classes with Harvard, Yale, um, Wharton School of Business like you can find those classes for free on Coursera.org edx um, if I remember I'll put it down 
put the link down below um you can take free classes the only time you have to pay is if you're doing like a mini master's degree or you want to um, pay for the certificate which costs about i think 49 to 50 dollars just to show that oh i took a class with Yale, whatever. Um, there's another website called Udemy. Udemy, they have classes um, as low as $11.99. I've been using Udemy for a long, long, long time. I, I've taken classes on Excel. Um, I'm taking a class right now on public speaking and writing. Um, you can study for your GMAT. Um, whatever you want udemy is like one of the biggest educational platform so you can find resources there you know this season i know we're stuck at home i know we're not getting paid um i know that there's no money but if we can use this season to better ourselves i think we can come out at the end as winners so use the season to you know make better decisions um yeah and then uh, oh my god i want to pay for this so bad um i don't know if you guys have ever heard of the masterclass platform oh my god i'm obsessed because anna wintour teaches like a leadership course bob Iger, the i don't i think he stepped down or so the ceo former ceo of disney he talks about business strategy my ah. Uh, Oh, Sarah Blakely. I'm obsessed with Sarah Blakely. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with Sarah Blakely. She has a class on there about self-made entrepreneurship. So I want to pay for, for um, the program and I want to take the classes. It's about four hours for each class. And um, it's $90 for one class or you pay $180 and have the program for a year and you can take as many classes as you want. So which I feel like it's very stupid though. Like why would you charge one class $90 and then 180 for every class? I think uh, but that's their business strategy. They they're trying to they're trying to be the Netflix of education. So I guess that's good. I want to pay for that cuz I want to take those classes. And um it's uh, masterclass.com. You can take that class. You know, you can um pay for it and take different courses if you want. They have things about spaceship, um astrology. Oh my god, I want to take Christopher Voss's class on negotiation. Like he's a badass former CIA agent that is like a badass negotiator. So I want to take a class. I want to take that class. Uh, 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 okay. Focus, Pam. Focus. Yeah. So you can do things like that. Um, there's this lady on, she has a YouTube page, Marissa Pear. She talks a lot about, you know, the subconscious and how to deal with procrastination, things like that. Um, she has, she, um, she's the one that introduced this therapy format called Rapid transformation therapy and i tried it once and let me tell you something let me tell you something i when i tried it for the first time i just realized that i am enough i need to stop letting what people think about me or trying to make people love me to get myself worth no i am enough i don't have to lose weight for that guy to like me i don't have to change my teeth for that guy to like me i don't have to change my hair for that guy to like me okay because guess what i am enough i am enough i'm the i'm, I'm the s i s h i t okay and if the guy doesn't see that he can be gone Okay, so my a pair. Oh my god, you guys need to watch her videos and get transformed. Okay, like the month of April for me is a month of healing, transformation. Like, oh my god, I can't wait to see the person I become at the end of all this. And then I want to, you know, make more videos for YouTube. So if you want to, if you have requests and you have request for videos you want me to make let me know i'll make it i have nothing but time i have nothing but time you know it was sad that we had to um postpone the launch of our brand ariel and ivy to next year but you know i know that it's for the best because it will give us enough time to build a following so that when we launch we have buyers for our stuff so um yeah 
I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, today I was like, oh, let me, you know, put on this wig and a little bit of lashes and shadow. So I look like somebody's daughter, okay? I've been looking like I don't have... I've been looking like God is not my father. Like I don't, like, I don't get it. But today I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel much better. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. So, and I also wanted to talk about what corrupt. No, don't say Pamela, cause I had YouTube be playing. I want to talk about what this season has taught me. Do not. Do not get too comfortable. Do not get too comfortable. Comfortable. You should also have other sources of income. Other sources of income is very important. That is why rich people are rich because they are not making money from one thing. They diversify their income. Like when this thing hit, like I have stocks in Nigeria, but I never really looked into stocks in america because i was like oh i don't have enough money to buy stocks but then something has been telling me to invest in cannabis 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 and as soon as this stuff hit i bought like some shares in like cannabis companies it's like pennies now and i know that in a few years when cannabis becomes legal everywhere those stocks are going to jump so i bought those you know trying to diversify my income i need to get serious with youtube because you know my spirit guides tell me i need to teach what i know and i love to help people i love to inspire people i love to motivate people and the and uh, marissa made me realize that the reason why i wasn't putting a lot of videos is because of fear fear of rejection oh my god why am i becoming emotional because of fear fear of rejection and and i'm like you know what no one can reject me except me and I'm not going to reject myself. So it's fine. It's okay. I'm going to put out this content and hopefully it inspires one person. If my content can inspire one person, I'll be happy. Okra? 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 Yes. And what else have I learned? That some people don't have brains. Some people, common sense is in common. I'm going to talk about this in my next video when I talk about um, the Netflix show, Madame C.J. Walker. Amazing. Amazing show. Great show. Um, what, what else have I learned? Yeah, people, pe people don't have brains and people lack empathy. Like... <sighs> I saw a video of this lady with so many toilet paper and this other lady was like, I just need one, one. And the lady was like, no, but thank God the manager of the store came and confiscated her toilet paper because she was being selfish, selfish. This is the time where we need to come together and help each other out, not being selfish. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Go down in the comment. Let me know what videos you want to see from me. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Please share it with your friends. And if you hated the video, share it with your haters so that they can waste time like you just did. Okay? Until my next video. Ciao.